The burned wreckage of the fuel tankers sits on the riverbank, next to a missile crater and charred gun fragments. But it's hard to know how many of those killed here were Taliban fighters targeted by NATO. Insurgents were positively identified. And how many were civilians, because all the bodies already lie in a mass grave. The strike took place in Kunduz, an area under German command. Early on Friday morning, two fuel trucks stolen by a group of Taliban were reported stranded by the river. The German NATO troops called in a U.S. airstrike. But witnesses say by then local civilians had arrived hoping to siphon off some of the stolen fuel. They were either killed on the spot or ended up in the hospital with serious burns. By day's end, NATO's chief admitted there was cause for concern. The Afghan people should know that we are deeply committed to protecting them and that we will fully and immediately investigate. Whatever the investigation reveals, today's airstrike puts extra pressure on America's top commander in Afghanistan. General Stanley McChrystal has made reducing civilian casualties central to his military strategy. Defense Secretary Robert Gates also knows that every incident like this undermines America's larger mission. Is there a tipping point where the Afghans begin to see us as part of the problem, a part of their problem rather than part of their solution? A solution that, after today's airstrike, looks even more difficult. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, London.